being a good freelance client pointer number four now you've already posted your project on the freelance site in question and it's time to actually choose a particular uh, provider or freelancer or maybe even a set of them maybe you don't you're not looking at working with a single individual but you're looking at working with say a group of them a bunch of them now my pointer in this regard would be that don't jump the gun don't be in too much of a hurry agreed that uh, often you know there are time constraints for which you have to kind of make a choice you know as quickly as possible and yet i would still say especially if the freelancers in question are ones whom you're not familiar with you've not worked with and this is a completely new requirement of yours and you're looking at you know choosing from a completely new you know set of uh, freelancers i would really say please evaluate thoroughly and in this regard i have one particular tip to offer you know don't just look at recent feedback you know this is a mistake which a lot of uh, you know project owners make is that say on a site like elance you might look at that the recent projects you might see okay lots of uh, 5.0 perfect you know feedback scores and that's it that's the you know freelance i want to work with i would really you know encourage you that look at the overall background on elance there's a there's an easy way if you go to the freelancers uh, you know the pr profile and there there's a link you know called all jobs if you just click on that there's a drop down arrow and then you can actually see you know if in case there are any jobs where you know the the freelancer in question might have actually scored less than say 4 or 3 and maybe even you know one or two you can actually filter down because see especially freelancers with lots of jobs and lots of you know work history it's very difficult and tedious to go through all of that so you, you, at a glance if you quickly want to see negative feedback you know that's one way of doing it and you know so therefore evaluate thoroughly look at look at all the uh, read through the proposals often i have seen that you know reading through the proposals itself you'll have a good idea in terms of those whom you want to work with those who sound promising and those who don't seem promising you know those who've clearly not addressed your project requirement at all uh, you know just a copy paste bid a uh, you know boilerplate template proposal which is often quite apparent you know it's it's a it's a quite likely a proposal which they are copy pasting to perhaps every single you know project and this is especially true of these uh, you know large volume players they might have lots of projects they might might be you know earning a lot of money but these are often you know these you know these uh, freelancers whom you might want to think twice think thrice you know before working with them because for them your project is just another project they they don't really you know they give a shit in terms of the fact that you know attention to detail often i've seen that it's good to work with uh, freelancers who may not have an extensive work history who you know for, uh, work on say only a few or a select set of projects within a particular time period and that allows them to give you know complete attention to the project in question so therefore my point would be that you know choose carefully take your time yes you know you might be hard pressed for time wherein you might have to select quickly but yet let's say i have the next 6 hours in which i have to make a selection what i've seen is on these freelance sites quite quickly you have bids coming in so i've posted say you've posted now within the next hour or 2 hours you've got say about 10 uh, proposals already so now you have the next 5 hours after that to make a selection so so continue looking out for you know more proposals which come in and meanwhile if you find something really suitable and you know don't hesitate to set up communication this is something which often you know many project owners don't do they just have like an overall look and feel and they just find that okay things seem okay so let me just go ahead and award don't hesitate to initiate a dialogue you know don't hesitate to start interacting from there on you can actually gauge more you know that that will be a good idea that that you know okay yes you know not just the first impression which was good but yes this is an individual or a company or a group which can actually deliver on my requirement so therefore my my you know my pointer number 4 so to say would be that you know get the communication going and choose carefully choose wisely take your time as per the you know time that you have available but more or less once that is in place you'll find that a freelancer chosen wisely will ultimately you know serve your end objective that much better Cheers.